Alright guys, uh, welcome back to, uh, this is part 6 of the tutorial of build a website from scratch. Um, what we're going to do now is we're going to continue on uh, to the next step in the process and that's what we're going to do is we're going to add something to our footer. Um, now this may seem like a strange way to go about things, putting stuff into the bottom of the website before we start put stuff into the main body, but there is, there is a reason for this. Uh, this is our copyright section here and um, everything we've done up to this point uh, is going to be the same on every page that we have so what I'm going to do is as soon as we have the copyright information put in um, we're actually going to save this page as a blank document or a template um, so that we can use it from this point on as a blank page rather than having to delete everything from a page and put in new stuff so so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to first thing we have to do is we have to remove if you remember we actually gave the um, the footer a height of 25 pixels just so that it would show up we don't need that anymore what we're going to do is we're going to remove that height because we're going to allow the content to determine uh, our height so we've gone into the CSS document and we've selected the parameter uh, the rule for the height and we're just going to delete it so save all and we'll go back in there and you can see our copyright div is still there but it just doesn't have any height um, so what we want to do now is we want to go ahead and add in content so um, I've all this basically all this information already compiled so what I'm just going to do is I'm going to copy and paste it in so control C to copy place my cursor inside the div and just tab it in um, just to make it look a little bit neater and control V to paste in the the code so what we have here is we have our opening paragraph tag and we have our closing paragraph tag um, I'm just going to close in those just so we get it uh, so that we can view the entire thing so this is how we define a paragraph in HTML. Uh, that's how we open and close our paragraph. So everything contained within that should now show up on our footer. As you can see, it's all there. So it's site designed by Sligo Web Solutions, which is the name of my company, and it's copyrighted to Bertie's Pitch and, of course, and I forgot the pot. Pot. Um, 2005 to 2013. Now the original 2005 is because I originally designed this website back in 2005 and this is an update. The content is the same, pretty much the same as it was back in 2005 with the exception of a few different changes so that's the reason I've added in the 2005 bit. Um, so what we want to do is we want to style this just a little bit more um, because I like my copyright text to just not be so much in your face so um, what we're going to do is I'm going to uh, go into the style sheet and we're going to I'm going to copy and paste in uh, some of the CSS rules that I've created for this and what I'll do is I'll go through them in detail um, so control V again to paste So what we have here is we want everything that appears within the copyright div. So that's the copyright div uh, paragraph. So everything contained within the paragraph tags and the copyright div is to have a padding top of zero because I want the text to appear right up against the bottom of the wrapper. Uh, so it's going to have zero pixels. The font size is going to be 11 pixels. The standard size that we're using for this is 16 pixels, so it's going to be smaller again. Uh, our font family is going to be Arial, Helvetica, or any sans serif um, text, and our text color is going to be that green uh, that we've been using throughout the site. Now, what we have here is we have the copy, the paragraph contained within the copyright div, but the link. Uh, which is this section here so anything that's contained in the A the A tags which is a link I want them to appear a particular way so I want the color to be the same the green color 
but I want the text decoration to be removed. By default, all of the A links would be blue in color and they would be underlined. So any link that would appear on your page by default would show up in blue text with an underline. I've removed that, so that's what that parameter there means. Text decoration none means that it removes the underline from underneath the text. So the next one then is we've created a hover state for our links. Um, and what that does is you've created the A colon hover. Now there's a few states for these. There's there's row, there, the hover effect, there's the visited effect that shows up. Um, if If you've actually visited a page you can have the links appear a different color if they've already been visited. So, but all we're using in this sense is the the normal state and the hover state. So what we've changed this to a red color when you hover over it and what I've changed the text decoration to appear with an underline. So if we save all of that and we preview that in the browser, which I can't do from the style sheet, so preview it in Chrome and we go back in and go right to the very bottom of the document and you can see there's our site te our, our text our copyright text at the bottom of the document there so and our link is contained within this if you hover over it you'll see it does actually show up as red so um, it's just something that I put in, in all of my documents um, copyright is very important um, it just means that any images or anything that are on it uh, it makes it apparent to people that they are actually the property of the person who owns the website. It's it's vital to stay in age that you put some put uh, details like that on it. Now I'm going to go back and show you, basically talk you through what we've done here. So this is normal text that's appearing within the the paragraph tag, and then we have the a link. Uh, so we have our opening a link tag here, which is a href, which means that it's pointing to a particular file or our page so that's the shortcut to my website um, and the title is basically if you hover over the link um, what happens is a little like a little tag appears as you can see you probably can't see it because the camera thing is set too low on this but what happens is a little um, box appears with the name the name of the link in it um, so uh, but that that's what that title is and then the target is again I spoke about this a bit earlier on um, in the sliding image um, what we're asking it to do there is that if it is clicked on that it opens up in a blank um, blank page in the browser or a blank tab in the browser so that it doesn't take you away from your from the site that you're visiting um, and then we have the actual text that appears within the link so that's contained within the a tags so um, and then we move along here and we have a little separator and we have copyright now this is one of the things that I wanted to explain to people for that little graphic to appear which is the little C um, you need you can't just put that 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 isn't actually part of the text so what you have to do is you have to put in a code for it um, and for that case it's and copy and it's with a closing uh, semicolon at the end of it as well um, and that's the HTML tag for our code for the copyright symbol um, and also there's one for the and uh, it just it makes it appear better in the browsers um, because and is part can be part of, of coding the actual and symbol as you can see it's used at the start of the and copy the copyright symbol so it can be misconstrued so you're better off if you're using the and symbol to actually use the proper HTML terminology for it um, and again as I said the rest of it is pretty self-explanatory and then we have our closing paragraph tag so that's uh, the way we have that set up for your copyright, Dave. So I think we'll call it this tutorial for now. And um, in the next one, then we're going to start adding in our paragraph, our headings, our paragraph, and maybe we'll add in an image as well. Um, so uh, please don't forget to subscribe and uh, drop us a wee like. Um, 
and also if you want to leave any comments uh, please do so in the comment section below and I'll talk to you in the next tutorial thanks bye